In this video, we're gonna set up the AL1 accent light from my studio. This is a single bulb 5000K accent light. It can be used for um, independently for lots of different types of um, lighting in your product photography. Uh, we're gonna show you right here, these are all the elements that come in the AL1 box when you order it. Uh, this is the powder coated aluminum housing. This is the fluorescent lamp fixture. It comes without a bulb in it. Uh, the bulb comes separately. Uh, this is the L bracket that's used to um, stand it up and give it stability. Also comes with three hex nuts and three screws. Two of them are half inch screws and one of them is a three quarter inch screw. Uh, the items needed for setting it up, I use a flathead screwdriver and a 7 16 inch nut driver is probably the most helpful. You could also use a crescent wrench. All right, the first thing we're going to do is remove the plastic diffuser from the fluorescent light. Now it's kind of fragile, there's some tabs in here and we want to kind of get those out. Uh, so we're going to use um, a just a flathead screwdriver. We're just going to kind of insert it next to each of the tabs, give it a little twist. Helps it pop off like that. Do that on that side. Do it over here. See it just pops off real nice. Doesn't break anything. Okay with that off we are going to put the L bracket on the housing. You can see the, this notch here, this tells you that this is the bottom of the housing and that is the end that we want to put the bracket on. The bracket is used to stand the lamp up. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of align the holes over that. We're going to take one of the half inch, the shorter screws, and we're just going to put that right through the hole. Take one of the hex nuts, put it on the other side of it, just finger tighten it down. We want to make sure that this is about level with the bottom of the lamp housing. And you can see how this hole is lining up right here. Now we don't want to put any of the other screws in just yet because we are going to put the lamp over those and then put the screws through that. So the next thing to do is to take your um, lamp housing or lamp fixture and we're going to put the, um, the cord towards the bottom. This, uh, the notch is actually for the cord. So that's how you know what side it goes on. And we're going to line up the hole in the lamp with the hole in the bracket and the housing. We're going to take the three quarter inch screw, the longer screw, and we're going to push that from the back right through here. And then we're going to secure that with a hex nut. Just going to go finger tight for now. Actually on the bulb and the lamp, we're only going to do finger tight because we don't want to crack the plastic. We're going to do the same thing. Take the remaining half inch screw, pop it through like so. Put the hex nut on there. All right, now once that's finger tight, as I mentioned, we're just going to put my finger on this side of it, just kind of hold it while I tighten it down with the screwdriver. Doesn't need to be too tight. I might crack the Plastic, do the same thing down here. Now with the bottom one, I am going to do it a little bit tighter. And I'm going to use the uh, nut driver to kind of tighten that down a little bit, a little extra tight. Okay, so we've completely set up the housing right now. All we need to do is install the bulb and the diffuser and it is done. So you take the bulb line up the pins on either side with the little groove in the lamp and push it down give it a little bit of a quarter turn until it clicks into place then we're going to replace the diffuser just line up the little holes with the tabs being careful not to break one off if one breaks off it's not a huge deal it just kind of snaps into place and there it is al1 accent light is completely set up now I'm going to uh, kind of undo the cord, plug it in real quick. And switch it on. And there you go. There's a completed accent light. It can be used vertically like this. It'll lay down horizontally, whatever you, however you want to use it. It can be used for a lot of different effects. You can add light to the front. Say you're using it with a uh, MyStudio MS20 or an MS32. You want some more light on the front. Or you can use it from the side, you can underlight something, you can backlight something. 
Uh, you can use a rim lighting effect. It's just, it's a really good independent light to be used with um, your product photography. It can even be used by itself if you had, say, a small item. We recommend that they're used in pairs. Um, it's just kind of nice to have two lights to use different effects. So that's it, the AL1 accent light. We also have an AL2 accent light that has two lights. The only difference there is basically more light available to you. So that's it. I hope you uh, got some help from this video, and we'll see you later.